Hello there. What Rishi Sunak did last night has turned the UK into North Korea. You don't need to understand the technicalities. Only that last night, Rishi Sunak stuffed a parliamentary committee with his mates at the last moment to ensure he got his anti-UK way. And he didn't just purge one MP off of that committee, he purged five, five of his own MPs. Q Tory civil war. This is the final nail in the Tory party coffin. It will now never recover in the eyes of ordinary Brits. How he thought he could get away with this is anyone's guess. Yes, voters are on the whole Brexit fatigued, but they won't be fatigued where Tory government dodgy dealings are concerned. The Tories are breaking the Trades Descriptions Act when calling themselves the Conservative and Unionist Party. They are now the anti-UK Tory party. They do not deserve to survive as a party, let alone win one single seat at the next general election. And the new rules that Rishi wanted to get through that committee relate to his much-vaunted Windsor framework that would finally sort out the Northern Ireland Protocol problem. But that will now impose a new postal border between Great Britain and Northern Ireland where all parcels going into Northern Ireland have to be checked. Something that will place yet more costs and barriers to trade within the United Kingdom. Brussels and Sinn Féin will be popping the champagne corks over this. Why do they need to do anything while we have rich Rishi Sunak in charge in the UK doing their bidding? And the likes of Putin will be taking notes to see how expertly the UK government subverts democracy. Here's what the DUP MP Sammy Wilson said in the House about it. Yeah. Sammy Wilson. Thank you, Mr Speaker. This evening, the uh, House was uh, the, a committee was meant to discuss the draft postal regulations, um, part of the implementation of the Windsor Framework Agreement. Um, the scrutiny committee has already been critical of the government for the way in which it has rushed these regulations, for the lack of information which was given, and for the inability to answer the questions which they had asked about the legislation. Today the government has announced or has decided that half of the Conservative members on that committee who were approved by this House, selected by this House and approved by this House, are to be removed from the committee because it was felt that they might be too critical and ask too many questions of the legislation. Is it an order that, first of all, when members have been selected by this House, that they can be removed in this manner, especially when it is designed to stifle debate and, indeed, one could only conclude that the actions which the government have taken would make the North Korean leader blush uh, as a lack of democratic process? And the former MP for Vauxhall, now Baroness Kate Huey, tweeted, Sat through this committee tonight. Five new members put on committee at the last minute. A shocking abuse of procedure by the government and showed a lack of confidence in getting their anti-union statutory instrument through. Interesting that Labour abstained. Perhaps they listened to the National Federation of Sub-Postmasters. And this stuffing of a committee has been called shameful and bent by Mark Francois the chairman of the Tory party Eurosceptic European Research Group, the well-known ERG. And when challenged over the word bent, he changed it to a rigged committee. And it seems that it's leading to another internal Tory spat. Worse, the removal and replacement of those five Eurosceptic MPs, Sir James Dudridge, Adam Afriyi, Nick Fletcher, Marco Longhi and Danny Kruger, the removal and replacement of them by diktat has been deemed to be within the rules. And all because they were going to challenge and oppose these new rules for Northern Ireland. You know, to do the job they were in Parliament for and were appointed to that committee to do. They were purged and dumped 
then replaced with five Ramona MPs who it seems were more than ecstatic to rubber stamp anything that helps the EU and the Republic of Ireland to dismember the UK. Sir James Dudridge says that the Whips tried to pressurise him into volunteering to step aside. But he said no. I was asked whether I'd like to be replaced. I said no. I was asked whether I'd like to take the week off. I said no, he said yesterday. I then found out this morning that I was replaced because they thought it might go on as far as 90 minutes and that it might be inconvenient for me. This is outrageous. But the Ramona-based House of Commons will not complain. It's not like they care about the importance of committees, is it? Unless they can skew one to get rid of Brexiteer types. It's becoming a bit of a habit now, isn't it? First the Privileges Committee, twice. Now the Delegated Legislation Committee looking into draft postal packets regulations. And it gets worse. There were no prepared papers for the meeting. And because of the late changes to the committee membership, there was no list of who was a member. Not only that... From what I read in Hansard of MPs' concerns over this, it rides a coach and horses through normal parliamentary committee processes. And Brexiteer MPs like Jacob Rees-Mogg, Mark Francois and Sir Bill Cash made it their business to attend that committee meeting and raise those concerns through points of order. What is not the norm is for people to be taken off a committee against their will. That is completely irregular, and that is what has happened here. Five times over for the same committee. That is not in order. That is not a convention. It is the government trying to rig a committee and get rid of people who they thought might have the moral courage to vote the wrong way. It's bent. That's what they've done. And you, sir, should not be facilitating it. That is your ruling, sir. No, he does not oh, have the authority to order you to withdraw in a committee. The Speaker has that authority on the floor oh, of the House. Yes. Well, the chairman of a committee oh, does oh, not yes. have that authority. Yes. I'm, 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 sorry, I'm, I'm very for tomorrow. For the... And Sir Bill Cash said, I have been here nearly 40 years and I have never seen anything like this. I really do deeply resent the fact that this has been done in the manner in which it has been done. It is an extraordinary situation. I have never seen anything like it, and I think that it is outrageous. And if, as I suspect, no action is taken, it will embolden even more anti-democratic practices across the whole committee structure. But Ramonas will be applauding this because they are quite content to see democracy shredded where achieving their anti-UK aims are concerned. Now, Jacob Rees-Mogg also said, A member has been appointed to the committee and summarily removed from it without the chairman of the selection committee being informed. Therefore, I would again suggest that this committee be adjourned. We still do not have the papers, so I think there are now two good reasons for adjourning this committee. But it went ahead anyway. And Marc Francois also said that MPs are used to operating within conventions and traditions. And if backbenchers see these conventions being deliberately abused, they rightly get very upset, which is exactly what is happening before your eyes. Now, this committee meeting was also time to coincide with voting on the Illegal Migration Bill, meaning the committee had to be stopped and restarted a couple of times and I have a suspicion this was done on purpose. But those in favour of Sunak's proposals were somehow rushed back to the committee after the votes, with Sir James Dudridge saying, This committee is being duped. Yet again, the government whips are breaking convention and are undermining this house. It is absolutely disgusting, and it should not be tolerated. But it will be tolerated because all anti-Brexit activity is not only tolerated by Parliament, it is also actively encouraged.